Hello everyone, Princess Cis here, and today we are working on something spicy and fun, and that is valse. Um, so it has to do with the musicality. It starts with uh, the gyro, putting the gyro under the microscope. Um, the reason being I know that the gyro step is not the easiest step to start with. However, it has this flow in it. Is the basic uh, gyro step is a quick, quick, slow, slow as a tempo. So it fits perfectly into the valse. And uh, so it is, you know, if you get that flow on the dance floor, it's just fantastic. So we're starting with the gyro. Take your time working through the exercises, especially if um, you're new in tango and you're um, you're still working on your gyros. Uh, so take some time, take take as much time as you need um, on each exercise. And you as you will see, we're going through the musicality aspect of it, but also diving into more technical details that will give you answers uh, to um, to general uh, general tango uh, tango technique questions, such as uh, when we step, for example, are we stepping on one line? So, it's something that interestingly enough came up. Um, it really has to do with uh, how you manage um, how you manage the tempo um, in such a tough step, um, especially and when the valses get faster and faster, they can get very overwhelming if your technique is not strong. And so you know, one thing leads to another, and there you have it, another you know musicality slash technique video coming at you. So I hope you will enjoy it and we will be looking at this uh, at these uh, two items musicality and technique a little bit more in depth in the weeks to come. So send me your questions, send me any trouble you might be having uh, and I will do my best to include it in the videos to come. Enjoy! The gyro is perfect for the valse because it has a flow that matches the valse. It has a basic rhythm that goes quick, quick, slow, slow. And that rhythm just matches the valse's rhythm that is one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So when it's done properly, it is the perfect match and is very enjoyable and You'll probably see it in all the Vols videos. So that is why we're starting with the Yido, even though it is a rather challenging step, but we're going to see all the, uh, all the details of it. Nada más, como 
prostitución Soñar y nada más con un querer arrobado Soñar que tú me ves y vives para mí Soñar siempre soñar que dicen que el amor es triste de perder Soñar y nada más, soñar y nada más Por noche de quieto, por noche de quieto Que mi interior se va, no es tanto amor y me ha dicho Contar a las estrellas de divinos resplandores Y en esa partida mi vida me le ha dicho So the toughest points are these transitions from uh, the back ocho uh, that goes quick, quick uh, into a slow forward step um, and the reverse from a slow side step into a faster um, quick, quick. Uh, back ocho and uh, back ocho and side step. So those transitions, because they are happening on the pivot, they are a little bit troubling. So this is the exercise that I've put together. It's very simple. You're going to. It's exactly the yiro step, only you know uh, in a line. Uh, you start very slowly, like I'm doing. No music, and you're working on these transitions on how you manage that. Um, uh, that change because if you go if you are at this stage you can't uh, manage the transition from a clean sidestep to a circular back or a circular forward that is a little bit of trouble so try to notice here a couple of things one is uh, the timing when the pivot happens and we visited the, we visited this element in a video um, in the past so you have to find the right timing to give yourself the pivot. Secondly, notice the articulation of my feet, um, where they step on that side step. Usually what happens, and I know that in many classes, uh, teachers would ask you to have a side step with the toes facing straight to the front. Um, so usually what happens is that blocks our step. So we need to be prepared. Now this is nice and slow, but the yiro, as you saw before, is rather quick. How you position your foot will determine the direction that your next step is going to take. Use this exercise to find the right direction that suits your body. Well, it might be a little bit different from what you see. Soñar y nada más con un querer arrobador 
soñar que tú no sé, si vive para ti, soña siempre soñar que dicen que el amor es triste despertar, soñar y nada más, soñar y nada más, con la noche de quién, con la noche de quién, que misteriosa va, cantando amor y real, volar a las estrellas de divinos resplandores, y en esa eternidad vivir un ideal, soñar y nada más. So let's look at some technique tips. We're going to be starting from a point zero position, which is this one. It's a position where you have all your options open, but you're going to choose the sidestep. And here is the exercises we have been working on for so long in our Boleo videos and the videos before that. So I want you to take a moment to track the line of the of the foot, the line the foot that would follow if you were to be congruent inside your hip. So as a reminder, when you swing forward, your toes go outward a little bit. When you swing back, your toes go inward a little bit. So let's see this. Let's see it here again. See if you start to swing back. There's a little. It's not a straight line. There's a little bit of a curve in that swing. Staying congruent in the hip allows for a much more efficient movement, um, and uh, also makes me direct my step forward without walking on a tight rope. So as you can see, I am um, identifying the center line with my step that that allows me to stay balanced around it, but I'm not stepping right on it. You can see it here with two feet. Something to think about and practice on in your tango.